on Alterzim Stronghold, a map that we have not seen yet today. Our two players are Exile Five's army. Oh, damn it, I shouldn't. Why, why did I do Shit. that? I don't know why you did that. That was weird. I, 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 that, that's weird. I, I did it like I was casting a, a game for. Uh, all right. Well, I'll let you introduce game. Army. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I, I was premature on that. Uh, problem I have sometimes when I'm casting games. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little premature. Uh, Sounds like a personal have, problem. In the top left, we have uh, Exile Five's army as the pink Protoss player. And Crazy yeah. Mr. J is not doing any fancy camera work to uh, hype that up. So that's there we fault. go. Army. Okay. And I in the failed on that. that top was... right hand corner of Alterzim Stronghold. It's going to be the Red Terran, which is going to be Sion Samia. All right, I am so I am so bad. I, I, that was my first mess up today. That's okay. Oh my okay. god, Firekin, you beautiful monster. Firekin, what's he doing? He linked the picture. I'm hungry. Oh my now. god. What is it? It's a honey and peanut butter and Kit Kat sandwich fried on a skillet. Ugh. That looks amazing. No, I don't. I don't do the whole peanut butter thing. <laughs> Just the smell yeah. of it. Makes me sick. So, uh, Alterzim, uh, mm -hmm. we should end up with a bit of a longer game here, uh, as it is such a large map mm -hmm. and favors a pretty safe natural expansion. Army will have the first scout, though, as yeah. he uh, will be heading into Sion's base here to see on everything he's doing. Yeah, but, our, you uh, know, Sion's going to know that Probe's going to show up so early that Sion's going to realize, hey, he's not in any of these locations. Uh, so he's going to know he's to his left. <clears throat> right. So Sion does know where Army is now because of the probe timing. Mm -hmm. But uh, Sion, I, I like his play a little better on this map. Like I said, it's a large map with a safe natural take. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, taking this uh, command center first play, uh, I, I kind of like that play a little better here. Yeah. You know, I, typically I usually go uh, three hatch first on maps like this, like like Alterzim and Frost, and it pays off for me in the end. Yeah, you know what I do on this map. Hmm. I veto it. I do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, like this map. I really like this map, and it's just because, yes, this natural is secure because he can wall off at this location, and he can get this natural, you know, completely set up. But as a Zerg player. It lets me send in mutas. Uh, as a Terran player, it lets you do drops over here at the natural, almost completely uncontested unless they put up some kind of defense. And, uh, you know, they're, they're It's completely secure. uncontested unless they contest it, yes. Well, That's the way most things are. Because <laughs> what, what can Protoss do against it? Uh, Maybe some warp prisms? Or prism but, oracle. Yeah, but those are, it, even oracles are very, it, those are easy to defend against. Make two queens, put up a missile turret. I mean, it just, it stops it. So, yeah. Protoss are really at a disadvantage on this map. Yeah, uh, another thing Protoss have to worry about on this map is out here at the ramp leading to the third. Very mm -hmm. easy to contain a Protoss here with siege tanks. Uh, yes. Denying them that third. I've seen that done quite a few times. Um,. Just holding them back in that base, either with a large bio army or a uh, small tank line. It, it's hard to break that as a, as a Protoss player. It is. Sion's going to see this Robo baby going down very early. So he's going for a quick Robo. SCV gave his life. Or the cause. Yeah, but seeing that Robo is going to help him out, so he knows that there's probably going to be early an early immortal push coming. So we know both of these players are safe, even if one of them loses this game. Because mm -hmm. one of them will lose this game, probably. What do we do if there's a draw? Um, do I've we never have seen a draw? I, I know it's rare, but what if we do? Well, I guess it would go I, into another match. I, I don't mm -hmm. know that we have a plan. It'd just go into another match. Probably, yeah. Yeah. That's well, easy. if we have, like, redraws in a row. Yeah. 
then um, then the players are trolling us. But yeah, I mean, what happens? Uh, Could happen. We'll we'll just uh, forfeit both of them. I want all right. If if it's a draw three times, I want a Star Strikers playoff to decide it. <laughs> I'm I'm tournament adam in. Okay. But that's what I'm making the the draw conclusion. If there's okay. three draws in a row here, if there's and we three can't draws decide a winner, oh. we will have a Star Strikers oh. playoff. He's going for Colossus. That robotics page just came out. He's going for yep. an early Colossus push. Uh. An old style Wings of Liberty two base Colossus would not yeah. be a bad idea. Uh, Three more you don't have to worry about. Down. You don't have to worry about getting contained at your third. If you uh, go for a two base play, I guess that's a way around it. Yeah, Forge coming out, so he's looking to get some upgrades. Hallucinated Phoenix coming to see what's going on, and that slow observer, no speed upgrade for that guy yet. Amelwyn secretly loves cats, apparently. Nothing wrong with that. Why doesn't he openly love cats? Cats is an amazing Zerg player from, uh, I think, Peru? Peru? Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is he Peruvian? Oh, I don't... I know he's South American, but I don't know from where. I, I think it's Peru, but... Yeah, who, who wouldn't openly love cats? Yeah. Cats is a great guy. I used to... I used to own a cat, and it was a, uh... A main coon is what it was called. The thing was, he was monstrous. It, it was like owning a small tiger. <laughs> so he he was great. He was as tall as my son was when he was uh, seven. When he would put his paws up on the door, great cat. Mike Tyson actually does own a tiger. Yeah, that's uh weird. This Colossus is misrallied, <clears throat> uh, but Army catches it just in time. Yep. Have it join up with his army. What a that's gonna uh, that's gonna pay off for him because this push is coming from Sion Samia and that Colossus is just gonna be huge because he'll be able to force field this ramp and that Colossus is just gonna annihilate everything that tries to come up from there. Uh, Cantel well, says cats is from Peru. We do have two medevacs boosted out around the observer, so one thing that Sion could do is pick up and drop into that natural, and I don't think Army would be ready for it. Oh, the zealots are coming up, and Sion misses him. This supply depot is not going to come up. It could. Oh, he sees it, might it now. Come up now. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. One's out. Zealot we'll comes in. in. And a push coming from Sion at the same time. He's focused on what's going on at uh, Army's base rather than his own. Yes, he is. And he's pulling his forces back, all of them. That just gives Army more time to build up that Colossus count. And yes, Charge yes. Lot's coming out. Lots of stalkers, so he doesn't want to have to worry about any Vikings coming out, and he's going to make his push now. Oh, that Marine just got roasted. Awesome death animation, I love that. By the way, another one. I was right, chat confirmed, Katz is Peruvian. Yeah, I just said that. Oh, I didn't hear you. Yeah, you talked over me. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's looking at just securing this third. He, he's content with trying to get his macro up. That's a big army from Sion, though. But against this many Colossus, it's really nothing. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna need to start producing some Vikings here. So, uh, the first two do pop out, as I said. I should probably have the production tab open. I've got uh, it open. I'm I'm a, I'm a bad caster. Two more are coming out. So bad. Yep. Both players just working on upgrades, trying to get their third bases up. Mm -hmm. um, Sion's is going to be a little ahead of uh, armies but uh, both these players with sizable armies out uh, as well as their third bases on the way mm -hmm. well, yeah. we see more production being added on by Sion Sion outnumbers uh, army army wise but uh, with these Colossus I mean it really evens it up one thing that I really like is this pylon here by army uh, it allows him to oh. do some heavy counterattacking. If you here want comes to work a Viking. a big round of zealots. Or here comes a zealot. Viking. He can really come in and pressure this third while this army's out in the middle of the map. Um, and he also has this probe down here. To That's what he's doing. More pylons. If, uh, if that oh, gets another SCV kill with that zealot. That was a, that was a good zealot.
if army confirms where Sian's army is, he can start warping in big rounds of zealots and just mm -hmm. doing major damage. Well, he knows what's going on now, and here comes the push. Uh, nice storm, oh, beautiful storms, storm. actually. The Colossus might be going down, but those are some nice storms, some nice force fields. Mm -hmm. And uh, those Colossi are down, but... Sian actually taking a pretty good engagement despite that he'll get that merging archon that archon did nothing but photon overcharge will keep him at bay yeah but he's got charge for these zealots too so that'll be able to counteract anything that he does have going on more colossi on the way from army as he's opting for a lot of armor and just now is completing his plus one attack mm -hmm. uh, this will make zealots practically impervious to marines but you know their well, plus three attack is on the way too but right now they're at that plus two. So that right. makes it to where the the Zealots, it, I mean, they're it, just as strong as they were before right in the beginning of the right. game. Uh, he, he's keeping up. The the, uh, the investment in the plus one attack for Sion is not paying off too well because the army is keeping up on his armor upgrades. Yes, it is. Oh, there's the Observer hanging out over that army. So, uh, you know, army... This Colossus exactly. is a little bit out of position. Where was that Colossus going? Was he misrouting? I, I don't know what he's doing. Let me let me go click on that Robo Bay, see what it is that's going. on. No, there's no uh, rally point for it. He just was, I guess he was looking oh, around. Oh, it's it's rallied over to that observer. So these Colossus are going all the way around. Oh, okay. And here it comes. Another push from Army. He wants to get rid of this. Nice feedbacks. Wow. The, there's those... just so many charge lots for Sion to deal with. Yeah, Sion can't. And he's falling can't behind in supply it. now. Almost double. I'd say Army's in a really good position here. With almost double... Uh, well, Sion's got the plus... Uh, he's got an armor upgrade over uh, Army right now, but with as strong as Protoss units are, I mean, you figure each Zealot does 18 damage. You know, it two armor just really isn't enough. And oh. DT... Is we, sitting we up here some, in the base. We missed some DT action up here. <laughs> 15 the kills stand. on the DT. Wow. Wow. He took Workers out that We missed some natural. major action. We, we are off one of our jobs. Yeah. Where's that? There's that dark shrine. Hey, wow. Don, please fire us. We're, yeah. we're awful. Uh, we have not been plugging the stream at all. Nope. Hardly. Fourth base and coming uh, down for army. Wow. Four that base protoss. That really picked up for him. Yeah, four base Protoss against a uh, three base Terran. That's just never good. Uh, two Zealots coming up, but they're going to run right oh. into the main army of uh, Sion. We are about to experience a storm drop here from army. He loaded two High Templar up into this warp prism, and he's oh, going to be bringing no. them across to storm this natural expansion All of Sion. All of those Sion. SCVs are going to die. <laughs> but he's going to make for sure now. they have. <clears throat> proper amount of energy for storm. Yep. And this is going to be so good for here army comes. here. These storms connect. That warp prism going to move out. There's the storms. Oh, oh wow! And then turning into an archon. So let's see. Actually, did you know that if uh, two Templar merge, the archon? Re well, no. The archon should retain the kill count, but it doesn't. No, it does not. It's weird. It should double. I it, it I know it used both. to. I know it used to just add together the Templar skill counts. They mm -hmm. might have patched that or something, though. Maybe. Uh, this Archon not getting anything done, though. It's just going to die. And uh, Army's looking to push out again. He's got a lot of storms with this army. Look uh, how he's got big this army is. 133 so to 97. There. There's hardly anything to repel Vikings. But yep. then again, there's not too many Vikings. Nope, there's not enough. Beautiful storms on the army on Sion, and it, it's just going to die. He just gets one EMP off. EMP. One EMP. No, no the EMPs. The Templar are so clumped up. No EMP on the... There's oh, so many wow. storms left. 121 to 42 supply. Army's looking to secure this battle right now. And we'll have game three going to Exile Five's army here. That's what the it looks like. There it Australian is. Australian Protoss player. I believe he's Australian, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All of Exile 5 is, I think. I don't think Exile 